What's up, everyone? So, I'm working on this Memorial Day weekend on a, on a custom cart. You see right here, got a RXV 2017. It's getting a new body, new wheels and tires, upgraded controller, Mad Jacks, front and rear seat, flip flop seat, extended roof, got underglow lighting. I'm gonna work on it and show you guys the progress. Stay tuned. What's up guys, checking back in on a little bit of the progress. It's coming good so far. This is the Mad Jax 250C. I'm about to mount it up right now. That's where the seat goes right there. I'll show you some more when I'm all done. But it's coming out pretty good, pretty easy. It takes a little bit of time. The instructions are absolutely garbage, so common sense on this one. So as you can see, I got the seat on. This is the Mad Jax Executive seat. It's got the nice stitching. Cell phone holder. And it's the charcoal gray. Armrest with the cup holders. And this does fold out. There is a rear platform I'm about to install. You don't see it here, but it makes it a lot easier when attaching the seat because the seat, the way you attach it, you have to flip it down like this. And in here, there's screws. But I put the cap on them. And there's a total of eight. So you have to hold the seat like this to attach it and thread the screw in. Okay, so got the rear seat all done. Turned out pretty good. It's not that hard to install, but let me show you something that you will want to know. Putting this rear grab bar on, you want to make sure this lip is on the inside. So when you unfold the rear seat, has somewhere to attach and it supports it that's why we like doing these 250 seats over the 150s and once again this is the Mad Jax 250 the Mad Jax 150 
it does come with the grab handle, but it does not support it right here. So you could put a little bit more weight than normal. But other than that, there's the step. Lifts up. Easily step on it. And you can sit. Enjoy right here. Nice firm grab handle. Okay, welcome back. I got the front end clipped on as you saw in the last video. But I'm not done yet because I need to install lights. And the light kit that I got is made for 2016 and up RXB. Here it is. It's the Mad Jax LED Ultimate Plus light kit. This one is not the RGB. I did not know about this until I got this, but I think the color changing, you can change the daytime running light. So this does have the daytime running light, which is right here. That does not mean headlights, it's just a auxiliary lighting, which is pretty cool like you see on most new vehicles. I'm gonna show you once it's all said and done, so stay tuned. So I'm gonna call tonight a wrap. Spent some pretty good time on it. Hopefully I get it done tomorrow because there's not too much more to do besides the light kit. And that's pretty extensive to the point of watching a video on how to install it because it's been a while since I've done one. But here's all the products that come in it. Got your two tail lights, headlight, horn, brake light there's the horn there's a reducer for the 12 volts then there's that big snake of the wiring harness but other than that everything's coming out pretty good tomorrow i plan on doing the roof hopefully that won't be too hard and yeah stay along for the progress enjoy Welcome back, day two on the RXV, same cart. Um, I forgot to video the headlight installation in the process, but it requires a lot of cutting and it makes a mess. Um, but I do have the front seat installed. Turned out pretty good. I also changed out the front steering wheel. And here is the headlights. They turned out pretty good. I will show you the process 
of cutting them out. It is messy. I'm about to do the tail lights. Both driver and passenger. So stay tuned. Hey, how's it going everyone? So, I got the cart all buttoned up. I'm gonna show you guys the overall speed on the golf cart with the aftermarket controller on it. It's actually pretty fast. Let me show you. So the takeoff's pretty fast. I'll get it up to speed here in a bit. washed up. She looks a lot better cleaned up as you can tell. This is a 2017 EasyGo RXB. Once again it has the Mad Jacks executive seats. Flips down. Cup holders. It is plated so it's street legal worthy here in California. Got the 12 inch rim with a 20 inch tall tire. There is no lift on this cart, so it fits pretty well. I'm not sure about the TXT, but the RXB it does pretty good. As you can see, there's plenty of clearance. I did add the heavy duty leaf spring. This does have Headlights, taillights, all the bells and whistles, tinted, fold down windshield. I will show you a night view of the underglow and the lights. But those are running lights. It's still a little too bright out, as you can see. Once again, I will show you a nighttime view. But overall, Turned out pretty good. Aftermarket steering wheel. You can adjust the speed, top speed, acceleration, and the regen on this cart. So, I think it turned out pretty good. I am debating whether or not to add a Bluetooth speaker by EcoX Gear. 
And if I do do that, I'll do another video to conclude everything. Um, later on, I will do a nighttime ride so you can see how the lights work on the cart and everything. They're actually pretty bright and uh, pitch black. Um, dark, but being in the city, I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned. All right, it is finally dark enough for the night ride. Here we go. Okay, here we have the golf cart nighttime mode. Those are just the running lights. Here's the underglow. Once again, the interior lights. Here's the front headlights on. Let's go over to the back. There's the tail lights. And here's the hazards. So this is what it looks like when it's blinking. It fills up the whole light. I like the outside light when it's just running lights. And so now, now here we go, we're gonna go for a night ride. I'm gonna go try to find a dark enough road so you guys can see the difference. Stay tuned. So hopefully that video turned out okay. I don't think it did, it's too dark. The GoPro just doesn't quite do it justice, but it's pretty bright. Mm -hmm. 